is really me. And that Raw Women's Championship actually belongs with me. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoons the Light. Last video of the night for Raw. So we got Alexa Bliss. I went over her videos um, earlier in the night, so definitely go over, you know, to, um, what happened earlier in the night in her match. Byron Saxton actually called her backstage, and she has got her whole heel persona in full motion now. Uh, so Byron Saxton, like I said, he caught her with her um, backstage, and she was still in her wrestling gear and stuff like that. Um which was kind of odd. I thought she'd be back in her street clothes by this point because it had been like almost two hours since she last wrestled. But anyways, uh, she was still, uh, she still had that dry blood under her nose. She didn't wipe it off. Saxon said uh, Bliss appeared to have completely lost control. Bliss said she gained control over Bianca's headspace though. She said she's uh, in charge of her mind games and stuff like that. So Bliss said Belair now knows that she is the only threat. And that world women's title belongs to her. So the fact that they've been having uh, Alexa still kind of like uh, talking about the title means that they're not done yet as far as having another match. Um, so could this match be at the World Rumble or will they do another TV match? I don't know. Uh, there's like three more Raws until World Rumble. And there's a big Raw um, on the 23rd. It's the... Uh, um, I forgot. Is it the 30 year anniversary one? I think I know that's on the 23rd though, right before Royal Rumble. And um, let's see what they do with that because I don't know when this match will take place, but you definitely got to be on the lookout that it is going to happen. But I'm liking the uh, heel persona. I went over, like I said, I went over everything that happened with the Brett Bright Riot symbolism. I'm not going to go over it again here, but like this is definitely looking like. She's changed it up. I, like I said, like I told you, I think it's going to be a different version of Alexa. That's my thinking. I don't think it's going to be like the the last heel that we saw with Lily the, when she was acting like a little kid and stuff like that. I think it's going to be the grown woman version of her, but with Bray's side effects and stuff like that. Because we even see Bray. He, he didn't even return to the Fiend character yet, if he does at all. But I do want to see if it has something to do with Uncle Howdy, though. That, that's what I want to see. Sister Abigail. <laughs> Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, Sack Exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, Alexa Bliss, man, uh, I I'm liking this heel character and she showed a lot more of the heel character tonight. So I think she's, I think she's full blown heel because her attitude and everything like that, it didn't show anything like a baby face tonight. So I'm liking it. Alexa Bliss as a heel is fun to watch. She is. She's really fun to watch. So let me know how y'all feel about this whole thing that happened tonight with Alexa Bliss and uh, uh, Bianca Belair. I think they updated and said she, she is doing okay though. But uh, thank you guys for watching After News Delight.